wine festival in Middleburg, offering some of the state's 38 farm wineries a chance to display their Chardonnays and Burgundies. I hope the really takes off. I support the wineries because I'm a Virginian, but now I support them because they're good wines as well. Making a good wine does not happen overnight. It takes years for the Virginia soil to produce a good grape, and even longer for the wine to produce a profit. Those wineries that are undercapitalized and understaffed, I think, are going to have problems. The, the ones that have deep pockets, uh, a good backing, and a little patience, I think, are going to make it. Planting and maintaining one acre of grapes an estimated $10,000 for four years. But add labor and equipment costs, and winemaking becomes an expensive business. Then there's the image problem. There's some negative images we're, we're fighting from the early days uh, when people didn't know as much about how to use the grapes and how to make the wine. But. Uh, like I said, it's improved greatly in the last couple of years. This candid wine tasting tells of another challenge for Virginia winemakers. It's quite tasty. I'm not sure if I go for spring for 10 bucks for it, but it's, it's quite good. It's going to take before people realize that, hey, this Virginia Chardonnay really is worth $8. Uh, matter of fact, it's better than one I had from XYZ State that was $15. So I think over time, uh, we, we're just going to have to pay our dues. The wine growers get help from the state in the form of technical and marketing advice. This is another way Virginia helps its fledging wine industry. Here at the state ABC stores, you can only buy wines made here in Virginia. In all, 85 Virginia wines and champagnes could be bought at state ABC stores. The wine industry is still young, and the trip from vineyard to Virginian is filled with misconceptions and mistrust. We can produce the wines um, on the coast at this point, but are people willing to pay the price and are people willing to go buy the wines is another question. They say 1987 will be a good year for Virginia wines, but for the winemakers, the efforts will bear fruit only when more people discover and accept the wines made in Virginia. Elliot Weiser, WTVR News 6.